Welcome, Exiles! They are going to talk about new Vulcan render for Pad of Exile. Now, uh, the performance in Path of Exile has always been iffy, and especially in Delirium League, I had to turn off everything to get a performance that I was looking for, so I don't get killed by random crap if I cannot dash away or, I don't know, leap away, whatever you are using. So, we all probably lowered our settings to low, 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 everything to low, so we can play the game. I was even getting some crashes and couldn't run breaches, and it was, it was really, really bad, in my opinion, this league. Uh, the performance is was terrible. The league itself, it's cool. I mean, cluster jewels and everything, it's cool. But the performance was terrible. But now, uh, for next league, we're going to get Vulcan Render. Uh, it's currently in beta, but uh, it's going to be fully released for 3.11. Hopefully, everything is going to be ironed out. So we'll get very smooth FPS, no longer getting those big uh, spikes in FPS or what you can, we can call them drops, I don't know, what you prefer. So this is awesome. I've been playing around with this for, well, it's released yesterday, so for one day, and I can tell you that it's pretty awesome. Before I tell you everything that uh, I experienced, um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, turning on notifications, so that helps with the YouTube algorithm and how it suggests videos. If you want to see more videos from me, turn on the notifications. Now to test out uh, Walken, I ran a whole bunch of maps, I ran some uh, simulacrums and so on and so forth. Uh, it works like a charm, but to have something to compare it, uh, so you don't uh, think it's like my feeling that it's better, uh, it's, it's not, I mean it's better still. Um, so what I did is to compare them, I raised, raised my graphic settings to what is kind of normal, what I would play in a different league, <laughs> because this league is ridiculous. So I raised them to mostly default and higher, you can see that on screen. And I used the same settings for Vulcan and for uh, DirectX 11, only thing that they've changed was the render, so you can see the frame rates just the difference between renders, not between some graphic settings. So we use the same settings. Uh, then what I did, I rolled the uh, maps pretty similarly, fully delirious uh, burial chambers, two of them. Uh, and uh, then I added some scarabs and uh, obviously sextons. And for um, for scarabs, I used the legion scarabs so we can see how uh, the monolith will do. And that's kind of my you call it test bench, I don't know, uh, but how I tested that, and uh, the, the difference is night and day in terms of FPS drops. Um, if you enter the map, you can see like when it's loading, there's a difference. When you click on a monolith, it's night and day difference because um, I even I wasn't sure <laughs> if I should click the monolith uh, on the Rectex 11, usually clear everything. Uh, around the monolith, then click the monolith, because there's so many mobs that I'm not sure if it's going to lag and maybe something that's near the monolith might uh, like one-shot me if uh, the lag is way too long. So I usually clear everything in the, around the monolith, then click it. But when I'm playing on Vulcan, I don't care, I click the monolith because there's no FPS drops at all, so... Uh, from that thing alone, um, you can see the difference. The other difference is, like, really comical, because uh, for years, the Path of Exile, uh, if you alt in the middle of the map, basically show all the items without load filter, uh, you would probably crash your game, or it would grind to halt. Now, uh, with Vulcan, you can actually alt in the game, uh, game won't like freeze completely. It's still, if there are too many items, it's still going to lag a bit. But man, that's a night and day difference uh, in terms of performance. So uh, I would really, really recommend you try it out. It's going to be out for next season, but if you're still playing Delirium, just give it a go. It's, it's like, now Vulcan is really, really nice choice and an interesting one. Um, I will talk about the, the API and everything a bit. Uh, it might sound confusing <laughs> if you're not like uh, interested in that stuff. I don't know. You might learn something new, or you. I might just confuse you. Either way, uh, the takeaway from this video is: walking good, 
use it. <laughs> it's going to be default for next season, so yeah. Um, anyways, I've been messing around with uh, some game development uh, in my free time and I do know a few things about the uh, graphics renders. I used uh, mostly um, engines, I didn't use I like implement an engine myself, so I just know like what's like general difference between them So not an expert on topic on anything. So if I say something stupid uh, Feel free to comment and tell me that I'm stupid in comments <laughs> Which is probably going to happen. So uh, What uh, Vulcan is is a really low level API. So it's a lower API than um, DirectX 11 or OpenGL, so we are comparing it to DirectX 11 because that's what we have in Path of Exile. Um, this means that uh, Path of Exile team GGG can do um, is access the hardware, so your GPU and CPU much easier and do some optimizations so they can gain uh, way more performance. At the moment, with this beta version, they managed to make uh, stuff load better. Uh, that's why we don't have those uh, spikes in FPS. However, the peak FPS is still the same, but they can probably uh, get even better performance uh, for peak FPS too, uh, if they continue improving it, which they will probably do. So uh, we'll, we're going to get some nice performance for the next season and for Path of Exile 2, which is going to, I don't know when it's going to come out, but I'm really happy. Uh, I'm happy. We're really excited about that one. So we'll we'll see when that is out. But uh, we're getting those uh, like some incremental updates until we get part of Exile 2, which is awesome. So we're going to get new render, which is going to be be huge uh, for the next season. I don't care what the next season is. I don't care. I'm already happy and I'm going to play it because it has uh, Vulcan. <laughs> so we're going to get much better performance in future. Anyways. Um, Vulcan is also really interesting because it's a uh, cross-platform. This means that GGG can release Path of Exile on any platform that they want to, of their choosing. Uh, this also means that we might get a native uh, Linux uh, client uh, for Path of Exile. Some people have been messing around with uh, DXVK. That's basically transforming DirectX to, to Vulkan. Uh, and it's it's a mess. I mean, all of those uh, things that you do, like emulations and things all are along those... <laughs> that kind of things are always a mess and uh, require a lot of tweaking to actually work. And any update that can happen in future will probably mess it up. So, um, I don't know, I would prefer a native client ov overall, uh, so uh, I was thinking about using uh, Linux for quite a bit because I used it in, in like a past for work and I know how to use it and I know my way around it and you get way more control over your system there uh, compared to Windows Though some programs don't work because they're native to Windows and you can't install them on uh, Linux, but uh, you can emulate them and we run into the same kind of crap that I don't like. So uh, at the moment, uh, if the Pad of Exile is on Linux, then uh, I may be, may be missing one or two programs which I could probably um, find an alternative for them, so I could probably switch. But I, if I, if my main game that I'm playing it isn't working, then I probably wouldn't switch. But it would be really, really interesting, and uh, it would actually probably get better performance on Linux than on Windows for Vulkan, uh, which is also awesome. Why not? <laughs> but that's kind of completely like out of scope, I think, for this video. The the video is Vulkan good. Use it. <laughs> that that's the main point. Um, other thing that I don't think many people are actually interested in uh, mobile games, um, but Vulkan is also available for mo mobile phones, so it's kind of a good choice, that way uh, GG has one render that works everywhere and since they announced the mobile game, that's probably why they also choose Vulkan, just guessing. Uh, I don't I don't know anyone who is actually like hype about a mobile game uh, like it was so funny when uh, Diablo did that Im Diablo Immortal nonsense uh, and they were booed out of the stage 
Uh, but GGG did something, like, they, they also announced the model game, but they also announced Path of Exile 2 at the same time, so nobody cared about mobile game, probably, but they could get away with that kind of announcement because they didn't announce the mobile game when everyone expected a uh, new game, basically, uh, for uh, PC consoles or, like, full, full beefy game, not, like, a mobile game. So... I think GGG is doing really well, and uh, it's definitely, definitely, Path of Exile is my favorite game so far, uh, like in few years, uh, mainly because it has like s really, really interesting character system that you can build your characters with. It's just kind of ridiculous how, how many, <laughs> many choices you have, and that is what actually keeps me coming back to Path of Exile mostly. Okay, we're kind of getting off topic here. Anyways, uh, let me know how Walken works for you in the comments, and I will see you in the next one, Exiles.